Okay, so we are going to demonstrate how to do a standard uh, endodontic treatment uh, for our fake tooth here. So using kind of the standard system. Uh, so first of all, we have to take an x-ray for the tooth to see if it's, you know, what's going on with it. And then we have to do a vitality test for the tooth using maybe Indo ice, which you see here. Now we spread it on um, a Q-tip and then it makes it really cold. And then we can test the tooth to see if the patient feels it or not. We can test another tooth to see if the patient feels it or not. If the patient doesn't feel that, that means the tooth is dead. And then we start the dental, the endodontic procedure. We definitely have to know the patient first and then we do the first step, which is the access opening, which means drilling the tooth all the way until we get to the pulp chamber, right? Once we get to the pulp chamber, we have to start by removing the uh, debris from the pulp chamber using the endo spoon that you see here. And then we're just going to remove. And again, some of these steps can be um, not done depending on the system that the dentist is using. And, uh, but we're trying to show all of the instruments and how they're used. Once we remove the major uh, parts of the pulp chamber, and again, can be cleaned a little bit with a, uh, with a burr, we can use the Indo Explorer to locate the canals to see how many canals are there, if there are multiple. And then let's say we located the canal, we have only one canal in this tooth. And now uh, we need to go ahead and use the barbet brooch to remove the nerve from inside of the canal. So it's prepared, that is the barbet brooch. And again, it usually comes in a, in a separate pack by itself because it's disposable. We remove that from there and put that back. And now, since we removed the pulp from inside of the canal, uh, there's an extra step that we can use, maybe uh, a gate to widen the orifice of the canal. You know, the gates is different from the peso. Gates used at the beginning to widen the orifice. The peso, as you can see, it's longer, used at the end to make space for a post. But anyway, that's a kind of an extra step or depending on the system you're using to just widen the orifice of the canal. Now that we remove the um, pulp from the inside of the canal, we have to measure the working length. And um, technically it's usually measured with uh, an apex locator, but also can be done with uh, x-ray so we put the file inside of the tooth and then uh, we do that so i'm going to ask my assistant to measure tooth number 15 i mean file number 15 on 20 and you can see the stopper goes in there a little bit closer maybe and then we just push it in and out to see uh, usually dentists would wear their finger ruler and this will, whoops, sorry, <laughs> that file. And then we just check if it's the right size. We put it in there and we take an x-ray. The x-ray will show us if the file is on the right uh, measure. And then we're going to go ahead and measure all the files that we, since we have only one canal, I'm going to go one file at a time until we enlarge the canal and we have clear dentin that comes out. So uh, the assistant will measure each file and prepare it, you know, we did 15, so we'll do 20 and then 25 and 30 and so on and so forth. Again, based on the system we're using, we'll use RC prep to lubricate each of the files. We can use glide. There are different ways of doing this again. Um, and then we also have an irrigating syringe, which has um, diluted uh, bleach into it. Sometimes they use also EDTA, uh, but this is to irrigate. Okay, so we use one file at a time. The first one, I usually measure it, and then I use the RC prep, and then I start cleaning up the canal. We can prepare the next one. Give you that back, and we can go ahead and irrigate. And definitely we have to have a rubber dam here, but we're just practicing. Okay. So now put that down. I'll take that. I'll take some. I can measure it. I'll take RC prep. And see now we've got to 25. Now we can prepare 30. 
again, just depending on the system, the newest systems have only three files at the end, so we're just going to use three files. And we're going to irrigate. Okay. Now, sometimes the dentist will go back to file number 15 just to recapitulate the canal, technically making sure that it's open all the way to the end. But let's say we're on 30, and let's say this is our last one. Clean up the canal. We see that there is clear dentin or you know strong, brittle, um, you know not soft dentin. That means we've got to the point that we're good at, and then we can go ahead and irrigate again. Okay. Once we do this irrigation and we think that our you know canal reached the right size, again we can just remeasure it. Uh, but we can go ahead and uh, dry it if we want to, or also we can do the measure for the master cone, right? And the master cone is the first set of percha that will fill in the space um, and close it, the apex at the at the area. Now, there are different ways to measure it. There are different instruments or ways, but we can always just put it in and then lock it. That's what the assistant would do, right? You can wear it in your finger and then just put your thumb and then you lock this on the stopper. And now we can just bend it a little bit and you can give it to the dentist. And that bend means like this is our stopping point. So we're going to put that. And now this is a master cone, just the first got a pressure that goes in there and blocks the apex. And we're going to take an x-ray for that to make sure that it actually matches the working length, right? And actually goes to the apex. Now we're done. We think it's good. Our x-ray appeared well. We keep the master cone to this side. Uh, and usually we put some disinfectant solution on it. And now we go ahead and do our final irrigation. Just one more time to make sure that our tooth is completely clean. So, there we go. All right, we can do it multiple times, just depending on the case. Now we're ready to go ahead to cement and seal the canal. So cement the gutta person, seal the canal. We're going to use the sealer. Again, there are different types of sealers that are out there. We're just going to mix this. Go ahead. Okay. Going to mix it. We don't need a lot of uh, sealer. Uh, the sealer can be placed in the canal by using a lint low spiral which is this uh, this one so but again it depends on the on the use right and now we're going to go ahead and we use the master cone that we already measured right and that is good and then we're just going to put the sealer on it and then I'm going to put it in here now again based on the system we're using we're just using the standard system uh, so we'll make, we'll put the master cone, and then we'll start putting accessory gutta percha next to it by taking space with using the, the spreader. The newer systems, you'll put that one in, and definitely, well, the master cone would match the last uh, file that we worked with. So if you worked with 35 at the end, you're going to have a master cone that is blue, similar size, and will fit in. Again, the newer systems, you'll cut it, and then you retrofill the tooth. But we're just going to the with the normal system for now, the standard one. So I'm getting the spreader, and this will spread it laterally to make space for accessory gutta percha. And then we'll get another one. There we go. I prefer it to be this way. And then we get some sealer. Put it in. that one make more space for more accessory gutta perches and then another sealer put that in and let's say we're done we got our canal completely filled out and we're going to go ahead and um, finish that by cutting the gutta perch so we're going to heat the glick and again, depends on that is the click. We're going to heat it up. It has two ends with a uh, plugger at the end. But again, depending on the 
thing that you're using. Some people would have just uh, a heated gun that will cut the gutta percha off, which is better. Awesome. So we red heat it, and I'll take it, and I'll cut the extra gutta percha off. There we go. And then again, I'm just going to condense it with the plugger here. And this should end our work. If we want to make space for a post, we can use the peso, which is the long one. And again, depending on what we're doing next, that's what we're going to work on. Uh, but this would end our work for our endo, generally, the steps for endodontic treatment. And that's it.